all clear for takeoff and ready to ramp up. Aviation companies are keeping a close watch on manpower needs and investing more in training to adapt to the new normal. Now, that's as measures lift for all fully vaccinated travellers from tomorrow. Gwyneth Teo tells us more. Help you to deploy the table. These experienced cabin crew already know their stuff. But with passenger volumes expected to soar, it's a good time to make sure everyone is on top form. Singapore Airlines lost 30% of its flying manpower over the last two years. Now, 95% of its pilots and 99% of cabin crew who remained have already returned to flying. But the disruptions have created new challenges. As we start to put back the capacity, uh, the focus will shift towards the shorter haul, mid-haul destinations uh, and that's why we need to get that recruitment going, sort of replenish the ranks and uh, we should be okay. Since a hiring freeze was lifted in February, applications have almost tripled from pre-pandemic levels. The airline says it'll gear up its talent for the new normal of flying. Now with this sharp trajectory as we call it, uh, we are mindful that we will have a lot of new faces less experience, operating still in a somewhat COVID environment uh, in the aeroplane. And many of the customers who are coming back uh, might be not as familiar with changes that have come about on board simply because of the, the health and safety protocols. Mr Tan says this will require both airline and customers to adjust. Singapore saw 15%, one five of pre-pandemic passenger levels return at the end of last year and is hoping to scale up to 50% by the end of this year. But doing so means aviation companies will also have to ramp up their operations but also manage the uncertainty that has already characterised the last two years and is likely to be here to stay even as the sector recovers. Dinata Singapore provides ground handling services for the airport as well as manning check-in counters and airline lounges. It expects growth to be more gradual and peak over the June holidays. It has rehired almost half the workforce that was displaced over the last two years. At 1,200 workers, that's roughly 80% of its pre-pandemic workforce, but it would still like to hire more. We are not only competing with the aviation sector, but we are also competing with the retail as they recover. So naturally, Singapore having a, a smaller population, uh, everybody is uh, after the same pie, so it, it makes it more challenging for us in terms of recruiting uh, in the service area. Also at the same time, uh, in places where you're exposed to the harsh weather, uh, also a challenge for, to get Singaporeans uh, to join us in the workforce. Yeah. Its staff are already trained in serving more than one type of airline, increasing productivity. It's working with schools to get a pipeline of manpower for the future. It's also investing in simulators this year to reduce the reliance on live flights for training purposes. The next few months will be hard work, but the excitement among its staff is palpable as the sector lifts off. Welcome you back to Singapore!